Hello, hello, hello. My name is Bonny. I'm from Paris and I teach Afro Eyes, I teach Kuduro, I teach Kizomba too. And I create uh, the concept Afro Novo. Uh, the goal is to promote the Lusophone culture with the dance. So with Afro House, with Kizomba, with uh, Baile Funk, Du Brasil, with uh, everything from that. And how long have you been dancing Afrofusion? Um, I, I start since I was maybe 10 years. I start with the Kuduro, with the Kuduro in the street. I dance in the street for, for enjoy. And I start for professional um, since soon, five years, five years ago, I start. So I, I, I start to, to, to give a classes, to make a workshop. Yes, five years. Um, what do you think about the influence of African culture in Europe? So for me, the African, it's the moment of African culture with the music, with, for example, Afro Trap with MHD, MHD uh, from France, uh, with Afrobeat. Now, the, um, no, not just in Europe, but in the world, the, um, the singer, the, the rapper from USA uh, start to, to sing in Afrobeat music and make collaboration with Whiskey, the Davido, with the Afro, Afro artist. And with the dress too, Nike, Puma uh, start to make the dress with the wax, with the um, dress, African dress. So I think it's the moment, it's the moment now for, for the Afro, Afro culture. And we noticed that with your work, you teach children. Yeah. Um, who do you think is easier to teach, the children or the older students that you have in your classes? Um, it's not the same. Mm -hmm. It's not the same. Uh, the children is more. Um, it's not the same pedagogy. It's not the same um, level of the of the step. But I prefer for me. Oh, it's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult to answer. Um, for me, I prefer to give to the kids because the kids is the new generation is the future and I can learn uh, the real the real culture the real vibes and she give she give me whole she give me a lot she give me a lot when I give uh, something she give me a lot a lot a lot a lot energy a lot of vibes a lot of smile and with the kids it's uh, I prefer the kids yes mm -hmm. I prefer. and with your experience in Russia now what do you want to take back with you to France from this experience um, from this Afro boom experience, actually. Okay, what I want to give with me in France? Yes. Um, so I want to. What What I want to take here yes. for France? I want to take here the um, the determination of the girls of the Donga girls now because Russia. When I when I told to my parents or to my friend, hey, I go to Russia for for Afro festival. He said to me, what? In Russia, he dance, he dance Afro, he dance, yes, yes. So it's very nice and it's very complicated for, for Dunga girls to, to make this on this country because we don't have, I think, huh, but we don't have a lot of Afro people. It's not the same in Paris. In Paris, we have a lot, so it's more easy. So I want to take the determination. I want to take uh, the, the motivation and the energy too um, with the students because uh, I gave classes now and the energy and the vibes was really, really nice. So I want to take that with me in France. And lastly, what message do you have for Africans who want to maybe get into Afrofusion or who want to transit with their African cultures or if they want to teach, you know, foreigners about yeah. their culture? So, it's the moment now, <laughs> it's the moment for the Afro culture, for the Afro dance, it's the moment and you have, we have to be, to make the, this culture, you have to make uh, something professional, something professional with the Afro, we have to start to give classes, we have to learn to give, to teach to the other people, uh, because Afro music, 
um, everybody loves the Afro music when you hear Afro music, the vibes, the foot uh, move alone, you know. So you have to be, you have to go inside, start, start to, to train, start to make a video, start to post, start to work, start to make a show, start to give a classes and after the Afro movements, grow up. So let's go, it's the moment. Um, hi, my name is Misha. I'm from Paris and Ivory Coast. My specialty of the dance in the Coupe de Calais from Ivory Coast. Um, je donne des cours uh, à Paris. On m'appelle souvent pour donner des cours uh, de danse, spécialité uh, Côte d'Ivoire, mais il y a aussi uh, de l'Afrobeat. Et euh, j'ai remarqué que maintenant, le coupé décalé ou la danse africaine a pris euh, énormément d'ampleur dans le monde. Il y a eu un gros boom, on ne sait pas pourquoi, mais euh, tant mieux pour nous. Et euh, franchement, euh, je trouve que c'est une culture euh, qui est originale, mais aussi qui, qui, qui est vraiment en fait, le partage. C'est vraiment le partage de la culture, de la danse africaine. Et je pense que c'est ce qui fait que ça attire autant de monde en ce moment et j'espère que ça va durer. Um, what do you think about the influence of African culture in Europe? Uh, the influence uh, in Africa. Okay. Uh, the influence. Uh, the influence in Europe. Uh, it's uh, it's amazing. It's a uh, crazy. Yeah, really crazy. <laughs> But uh, the, the country, the African country, you understand? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> the, the, the country, uh, the Africa country is uh, very like uh, of the people, uh, of the world. And the, tra the uh, pour, uh, transmettre, pour transmettre cette culture aux gens, euh, je trouve que c'est vraiment une connexion, un partage. Et euh, qu'on m'appelle pour donner des cours en, Rus en Russie, Russian, or, or I don't know, um, Nigeria, and uh, it's the world. Uh, c'est just amazing, but uh, for me, it's a really, really uh, crazy, in the really connections. And I love that, I love that. The, transmettre en fait my origins and uh, my country for the people and I, I, I really love mm -hmm. and to close off from this Afro boom event yeah. what do you want to take with you back home? translate <laughs> what? <laughs> what did she want to take from the Afro, Afro boom um, experience back home? Qu'est-ce que tu veux prendre de cette expérience-là, de cet événement-là, que tu veux ramener à la maison um, Ok, French. <rire> um, en Russie, j'ai beaucoup aimé uh, la vibes, the good vibes, and, uh, um, les, 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 les élèves, ils sont, ils sont, ils sont open uh, for the, the... Comment on dit uh, apprendre, putain The learn... Um, of the teaching, I don't know, it's, it's good, okay, <laughs> uh, French, j'adore en fait uh, la connexion, la vibe qu'il y a entre les élèves, entre eux et le prof, uh, je trouve que en Russie c'est assez rare, c'est un pays assez rare où il y a vraiment la danse africaine et je pense que ce que, j ce que je peux apprendre en, en étant ici, c'est vraiment le partage, le partage de la culture africaine et voir qu'il y a d'autres personnes, il y a d'autres euh, euh, pays qui, euh, qui suivent ce qu'on fait à travers euh, the, the social réseau, I don't know, euh, qui, qui, qui aiment ça, qui, qui, qui vraiment qui découvrent euh, cette nouvelle culture. Et quand on vient me voir et on me dit « Hi, Misha, I love, I see you, the video, I love that, the, 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 the dancing, the culture. » So, me? Okay, thank you. Uh, it's a really amazing. J'adore vraiment cette vibe. Uh, limite étonnée. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Oh, thank you. But it's uh, impressionnant. On dit comment en anglais? Impressionnant. Amazing. Non, uh, impressionnant. It's uh, incredible. 
Et là, mais... Toi là okay. Amazing, incroyable, amazing. Mais impressionnant, je sais pas. It's, a... It's so crazy. Yeah, mais... yes, ouais. Ok, j'adore en fait. J'adore uh, the vibes. I like the vibes. From mm. Russia. Mm. The, the, the... Comment dit élève the... the student. Uh, the, the, it's, it's really hot, it's really down, come uh, learn me! Et j'adore ça! 